Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septeria18. Uh, before I share with you this really fun little uh, project, I just want to welcome all of my new subscribers here to my channel. And I also want to say a big thank you to everyone that has also been coming on here and enjoying all of my videos and also liking them and leaving me really lovely, beautiful comments. It really means a lot to me, so and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And I hope you continue to keep heading over and joining me for more uh, videos and tutorials as well as some uh, projects for your inspiration because you also all have inspired me to continue what I love as well. Um, so I'm going to get on to my next project for this video and it's a really fun little uh, an embellishment project so it is a paper a bunting embellishment uh, and all you're using is just your paper scraps and any of your small paper punches um, we probably have at least one uh, paper punch in our uh, in our stash somewhere so uh, this would be a great little project for you to uh, use your paper punch and it's also a great simple project if you are a beginner to uh, paper crafting or you wanting to make some paper embellishments you just but you just don't know where to um, get started or where to begin because i know there are so many beautiful embellishments out there on instagram uh, pinterest and youtube and sometimes it just looks so beautiful that it can become overwhelming on how to uh, get started with them so this one here is just a a basic embellishment uh, projects to get you started and then using that project uh, embellishment you can then keep working on it and adding more and more to that embellishment to create a, a really fun uh, embellishment of your style and so these ones are just my basic ones that i'm going to show you so all you need are just your preferred paper punch you will also need your paper scraps so i have here just a bunch here that i've just taken out of my box and put them on this tray i keep all of my little papers and even these little small ones like these I don't throw them away because these little pieces can just make a finished addition to any of your embellishments as well so um, i'm just going to do a process video and show you how easily it is and how quickly you can make these without too much fuss uh, so that's all you're going to need and just a pair of scissors and some glue so let me just show you the ones that i've made um, just to give you an idea and I also made some with the a one inch circle punch. So if you have a one inch circle punch, I've also made a couple of embellishments with those, which I'll show you as well. Um, so these are the little bunting shape embellishments. And this one is shaped with the, it's like that, it's pointing down. I don't know what you call that shape, but if you know what it is, just let me know down below in the comment. But I know it's one of those banner shape. And so I just uh, added two little butterfly shape uh, punch out butterflies and I place them on the corner and this one hasn't got a word sentiment so if you don't have any word sentiments in your stash you can just add a little strip like this and then just leave them to the side until you're ready to add a word and then I also made this one this one here is the like a fishtail banner exactly the same just the shapes are different and this one has a word sentiment in the middle and I use the little flower uh, punch which is this one here and I punched them out and added them to each of the corners and you can add some flat, flat back pearls you can add rhinestones you can add enamel dots you can add some twine string crochet ribbon or anything you want to finish off your embellishments so these are just some of the ways you could finish off your embellishments as well so i've added them to the top uh, this is another two more which are the same just different uh, bunting shape <clears throat> and these ones have the word sentiments in the middle i use the little heart shape on this one which is a little small one here And then these ones here I made using the circle punch and I use the heart punch and then you can also add some of your die cuts uh, ephemera pieces and finish them off and decorate your embellishment this way like I've got a little die cut here and then I punched out the hearts out of uh, a strip using the tiniest heart punch that I have and then I just uh, 
lay them on top of the other onto the die cut and then the negative part I just added to the front just to finish that off so this is just another two more and these would be great you can add these onto say a li library pocket to decorate a library pocket you can add it up place it up here or in the middle these would make great little tuck spots as well if you wanted to add a little tuck spot like down here this could become a little uh, front pocket you could finish off a little mini envelope and decorate the closure part and place that to the front so you can do that and then it's just decorate that or you can place it in the front these would also be great to add to your cards if you're a card maker you can add it to your card or note card uh, as a bag topper you just grab your piece of paper fold that in half adhere this to one half of the uh, paper and then you've got yourself a bag topper so so many fun ways you could use these they make great little gifts as well for your crafty friend and you can give these so I just used all different papers and look how pretty they still turned out and they'll still look good in any of your projects so I'll just do a process video now and I'm going to make uh, one of these ones with the circle punch I'll also make one with the flag banner shape and then I'll make one with the what is this shape I can't remember what it's called but um, I'm gonna make one in that shape as well so I'll just put these to the side I'll move these out of the way so I've got a bit more room so this is my tray of um, all of my little scrap pieces and then I have a little uh, compartment tray where I've already cut some of the papers out so it's ready for me to embellish and I've cut them into that shape and then the other one is that uh, fishtail banner shape and then some of the circle shape with the using the one inch punch and these are the strips to um, use for the base and I've also got some little strips here which um, you can use to finish off your embellishment so when um, I make these I place the bunting shape onto a base using my paper scraps which is this um, part so you'll need a base paper and I just cut them all out at a one and uh, one inch by two and a half inches long and I just cut a few of those and they'll be ready for me to create the base for the embellishment and then these little pieces of um, scrap papers I cut them out at uh, I'll just show you how I cut them so these all these papers for example whatever I've got with a bit of length I'm just going to cut I've cut it at about just over one and a half inches wide so I'll just cut that down into a little strip so I've cut it at about just over one and a half inches you can cut yours to about one and a half inches wide it, it's up to you how what size you want your bunting shape and then I'm just going to cut it down at one inch so I've got enough here to maybe make two so just go over here one inch so I've got two pieces so I've got two of these which I could use so these will make the uh, fishtail banner shapes so you can cut it at one and a half inches or just a bit over one and a half inches by one inch in length so I'll just pop that with the rest of these and I'm gonna get going and make uh, these so I'll make this one first and so I've already cut some out already here and then um, I'll just use one of these as a template so I don't have I've got them all the same measurements so all I done was to make one of those was I just go down at an angle and tr come down as close as I can to the middle or to the center and then cut that off I'll try and grab it without losing it grab that little piece and then place it on the other side so you have a template so that you both you'll have two even angles and just cut that so now you should have um, your shape this way and they should be both the same side so I'll use this as a template to cut out some more 
And what I do is I just grab two or three, maybe four, and stack them together. Grab the one that I've just cut and place it on the top and that will be my template so that I can use this same angle to cut the other three pieces. So I'll just go along and cut them out that way. And then do that. So now they should all be cut and they're all ready. So I'll pop them there. And uh, the fishtail uh, shape is just cut from the middle. I'll just go up in the center just a little bit and then I will go on an angle in the middle and then just turn it over the other way and do that. And that will give me that fishtail banner. And I'll use this as a template to cut uh, some of these. And I'll do the same and stack about two or three. So I just cut them all out first, have them all ready before I start uh, making my embellishments. So then it's much easier for me to lay them out. So I'm just going to go in. Just turn that over now. And... So now I've got them all cut out already. And I've punched out some circle shape using the one inch circle punch and that's to create the uh, this embellishment here. So we'll get started now and I'm going to make this one first. So I'll grab one of these strips to create the base. I might use this one since this is the first one on the top. And I'll grab five pieces of these shapes. One, two, three. Three, four, and I might use that one. So I've got five pieces. And I'm just going to place them where I like them to be. So I don't really take too much time on where I want them. So I'm going to have them like that. And what I'll do is I'll Grab some glue, grab the middle one, and I'm going to put some glue to the back. So I'm just going to continue this and just work along. And if you want to uh, craft along with me, um, you can go ahead. I'm just going to place this in the middle. So it's just a little bit hanging down a little bit there. And then I'll work my way around from that middle piece. Grab this next one. Glue the back. And I'm going to try and just do a slight curve. And while the glue is still wet, I can still move it around until I'm happy with where I want them all to be positioned. And then the last one, I like it to sort of come up to the corner as best I can. I might just move them up a bit. So you just move it around to create a bit of a curve. So now I'll just, just move it so I, I like them to be a little bit separated at the bottom. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so that is pretty much um, done for the bunting part. Let that set and then I'm just going to choose one of my punches uh, so I could just finish off the corners and decorate the corner of the embellishment. So I'm just going to use the heart punch and I'll just find some, any papers, I might just punch them both uh, the same. So that's one and two, so I just need two of those. 
and then I'll just glue them to each corner. If you haven't got one of these, you could not, don't worry about that. So that's pretty much nearly complete. And then I just want to tidy up this part here. And that's where I add the little strip in the front here. It just tidies up and hides the uneven joins. So I just grab some more little strips. And that's why I put the little strips here so I can use them. But I want to... This is double sided. Oh, I might use this one, the same as that. And you can cut this down to however you like, how thin you want it. I'm just going to use my, um, I'm just going to free cut it as straight as I can. So I'm going to go there. And I'm not going to use any word sentiments here, just in case, just so you can see that you can still make it without it. So I'm just going to leave that there, grab another little piece. To place on the top just to add more color. Mm, might use um, might use this one. Just use this one. Just a little thin strip is all I want. And if you have some uh, dimensional uh, square uh, tape, which I'm just going to go and grab. So if you have any of these, uh, these will just give you add, add a bit of dimension. Um, you can do that. Or if you're wanting to send it as flat mail for a crafty friend, you can just keep them all flat and glue them all flat so you don't have any bulk. So this one finishes off this embellishment. And then I can add a word later on when I'm ready to... Um... So there is the embellishment and then I can probably put a couple of rhinestones to the heart just to decorate that. Yeah, that looks cute. So let me just add one of these. And you can get these from your discount store uh, or craft supply stores. Come in a, in, a, in a sheet so you get a, a ton of them. Oops, did I just lose that one? Let me just grab another one. Okay, just place it there. Look how pretty that cute looks. It looks really cute. So that one's done. So we just do the, uh, this one is done the same way. As this one so you just uh, choose your five pieces and then uh, um, adhere it so let me quickly do that one and then I'll do the circle one so let me just use the just this away. I'll just pick out five Oops, I should put these here so you can see. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. I'm going to put that one in the middle. 
and it's just exactly the same just grab the one in the middle first and we'll place that down so that will give us the guide to line them all up so I'll just place that there And the last one. Okay. So I'm happy with that. And now I'm just going to pick out, just use the flower punch. So, I'll just use this one. I'll use this one. Punch out two of these flowers. And then what I'll do with the flower, I'm just going to crumple it up a little bit. Just the petals. Just to raise it up a bit through down the center, the back. Place it on that corner. I have one of these tools, which I normally use for my uh, flowers and a, um, a like a, a foam base, but I'm doing it this way in case you don't have the tool because so I really want to make this one as a, a beginner project for those that just have minimal supplies and just want to make something with that if you don't have all the crafts tools because I know not everyone has all the crafting tools to make embellishments and so that's that and I'm just going to use the flat back pearls for the center get a whole shed of these and I've bought these for about two dollars from um, our discount variety store and um, thought these would be perfect as the centers to finish off the flowers so there's that one and then once I saw dry I could then just try and bring up the flower a bit more so that's that one and I'm going to also finish that off with a strip Oh, what have I got here that I could use? I might use this one. You can see that it's just, this is just a tiny little piece and I'm still going to be able to use it and not waste it. I might use this one. Yeah, these two little pieces are perfect. Okay, so let's cut that off. And what I might do, I might change this one up a little bit and let me do this one. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut this about here and I'm going to create a wider fishtail banner. And just so you can see some other options for you. And then what I'll do is I'm going to put glue on the top here. that on the top and then I'm going to 
to place it on the top of that one with some foam dots. And then there's um, room there for me to add also a word sentiment if I choose to later on. I don't, I have, I usually have the larger square ones, but I've only got the little ones to place on here. I need to get some more of the larger square foam dots. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm just going to place it sort of there. them down I think oops okay so there we have that so that's done and you can add more papers oh, I don't have any larger so let me see okay well, you can also always add another layer at the back and raise it up again so you can just keep adding more and more layering. So that's that one done. So I've done two already. Now we'll just finish off with the last one. And that is this one here with the circle shape. It's really easy. This one's a little bit more simpler. All I've done was um, I'm going to, I've got the, these ones. And I'm just going to cut them in half. And we're only going to use half of the circle. I also done a video uh, a while back similar embellishments using the circle shape as well and i'll put the link down below to that video if you wanted to make some more embellishments using the uh, circle shape as well and that's another fun little embellishment project uh, with this one here i cut the base a little bit uh, shorter same width the only difference with that one i instead of one inch i cut it down at um I cut it at three quarter of an inches instead of the one inch three quarters of an inch by two and a half inches but you can also use whatever size base shape you want to use so I've got my three half circles that I've cut out so I'm just going to place them like that pick this up I'm going to glue the bottom just a little strip on the bottom And then I'll grab the middle one, place that in the middle at the bottom there, and then layer the other two beside each other. So I'm just going to grab that, place that there, and the last one. So that's all there is to that. And then I just corner around at the corners or you don't have to. You can leave it like I have. And then I just added, again, some more little strips. And that finishes off the uh, embellishments. Let me just quickly finish this off so we can see how it looks once it's all done. I'm just going to use this piece. going to place that there i might even corner around this one uh, if i've got a corner around a bunch i'm just going to corner around this one just to make it more decorative place that there and i might add one more little piece it's just because i feel like it <laughs> And you know, and that's the, that's the thing about embellishments. Once I look at it, I just want to keep adding more and more and more. I think, oh, a little bit more. I'll add another bit more color to it. So it's just one of those things with embellishments I like doing. I don't know when to stop. So I might even do the same. Actually, I'll leave this one. And I'm just going to layer this little strip on top une unevenly. So I'm just going to place it here. And then you can add your word sentiments if you like. Or you can punch a little hole on the side here. 
And you know what? I might actually, I might just finish this off with one little piece just to show you another variation. I'm going to use this gold, gold paper. And I might just, let me just cut this. So what you can also do is create a little, like a little tab. So you have somewhere to add, um, let's say, some string, or you want to use it as a tag, or you want to add some charm dangles. I think I've just cut this down to about one and a half. So one and a half by three quarters. I'm going to fold that in half. And I'm going to glue it to one end, which is I'm going to glue it to this end. I just seen this gold piece of paper in the tray and I thought, oh, I'm going to use that. So I'm going to place it here. I might line it up like that. And then if you have a hole punch, you can just punch out a hole and then you've got somewhere to hang off some dangles, some trim. I haven't got any trim here on me at all. But you can do that. And then you can decorate it like I have here. So that's just another uh, another option for you. And um, you can also, what have I got here? Have I got any little hearts? No, nothing. All right, so this is my embellishment project. Perfect beginner project for those that want to start making some embellishments. Really easy, just use those scraps, play around with them. Don't be afraid to use different papers. They will always still look really pretty, no matter what you're going to, um, how the finished product looks like. Uh, so I hope you had fun watching me do this process video, making these embellishments. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.